Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Math for Today. Um, this is for fifth grade, um, day one. So let's look at the question. It says to write an expression for the calculation double two and then add five. So we're going to do exactly what it tells us to do. So we're going to start by writing two. And to double two, we're going to multiply by two. Okay, and then we're going to add five, all right? We did exactly what it told us to do and we wrote an expression. Um, now, because we are in fifth grade, um, we're gonna put parentheses around the first steps. So we're gonna put parentheses around two times two because that's the first thing that we need to complete. If you took it a step further and you actually solved the expression, good for you, you are awesome. Um, so that would be two times two would be four. Four plus five would be nine if you solved it, but we only needed to write an expression. All right, let's move on. Let's list the factors of four. So I like to start by um, drawing a factor tree. Um, so we're going to put four there because that's our focus. Um, what are some factors for four? So four times one gives you four, correct? All right, but we can break that four down even further. So what makes four besides four times one? Two times two, All right? So two times two gives me four, and we can go further and break those twos down, but we're not going to. We're going to stop right here. I'm going to circle just one of those twos uh, we also have a one and then we have a four. Those are your factors. Okay, so I'm going to list them because that is what my question told me to do. So I have one, two, and four. All right, so um, the next question is, is the number four prime or composite? So number four is actually a composite number because it is actually divisible um, by two or more numbers, okay? And so that's what makes it a composite number. All right, let's move on. 25 divided by five. I'm gonna set this problem up here. So five divided by, or sorry, 25 divided by five because five is your divisor here, okay? And um, 25 is your dividend. That's what's being broken apart. Let's just list our fives out. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. I'm going to stop right there. So we can just count how many times 5 um, goes into 25. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So my quotient or answer is 5. All right, the next question says to write less than, greater than, or equal to to make the statement true. Well, right now, there is nothing in the blank. Um, so since we're dealing with decimals, I want to list those decimals. So I'm going to write 007 or seven thousandths and zero seven. And I'm going to put another zero there just to make those numbers um, the same amount of digits. And that's actually seven hundredths. So since we line the decimals up, we can just look and see what numbers um, are larger than the other ones. Um, so we have zero and zero. Those are the same. I'm not going to worry about those. Let's move over to the hundredth place. Zero and seven. Hmm. Which one is larger? The seven, of course. So that makes this number bigger. So seven hundredths is greater than um, seven thousandths. And make sure we have that alligator eating the bigger number. All right. And that is it for today. I'll see you tomorrow.